Hey everyone, so welcome back to another video on our channel and in this video we are going to discuss about a very important coding questions. This is one of the most important coding questions for upcoming TCS NQT exams for TCS digital and prime roles. This is also one of the very important coding questions for any entry level job you can expect this type of coding questions. Okay, so let's start the coding questions and the detailed solution. So first of all, we are going to discuss the question, then explain you what is the thinking process, how the code is working, then show you the code and run the code and show you the output as well. So we are going to do all of that one by one. First, let's check the question. The question is given an array of n elements, you have to print the elements which has even number of frequency. Okay, so what does frequency mean you have to understand suppose there is an array of 10 elements and there are multiple numbers like 2, 3, 5, 7, 5, 7, 9, 10, 12 like that. Okay, what is the number of occurrence of a given number? You have to find out that suppose there are 5, num the number 5 is 3 times in the array. So frequency of 5 is going to be 3. So is 3 a even number? No, is 3 is an odd number. So if Suppose the occurrence of another number 7 is going to be 2. So 2 is an even number. So we will have to put 7 in the output. Okay. So let's see that I have also given the input output here. So input is going to be first there will be n will be in the input. That is the number of elements in the array. And then from the next line they will give the elements of the array. So output what we will give? Output will be the elements which has an even frequency. Let's see the example. You will understand easily. But before moving on, if you are new to our channel and you are trying to prepare for your placement exams and if you want to see much more this type of exams uh, related questions or placement related previous year questions also for other aptitude topics also or for coding topics also make sure to comment down whichever you want and also if you are new make sure to click on the subscribe button join our telegram from the description box link and also make sure to click on the bell icon after subscribing because we post multiple hiring onboarding exam updates interview updates every day regularly make sure not to miss out so see first of all the example we are having is having nine elements okay so input is having nine elements and the nine elements are what one two five 2, 7, 5, 18, 7, 13. So the output you will get is going to be 2, 5 and 7. Why? So let's see the explanation. So occurrence of 1 in this whole input is going to be 1 because there is only 1 occurrence of 1. So frequency of 1 is going to be 1. Number, this number 2, how many times it is occurring? It is occurring only 2 times. So the frequency of number 2 is going to be 2. Then number comes number 5. Number 5 is uh, in here once and here once. So number 5 is also having frequency 2. Number 7. Number 7 is also having uh, frequency 2. Here once and here once. So 7 also having frequency 2. Then number 18. 18 is once only. So 18 have frequency 1 and 13 have frequency 1. Okay. So which of these are even frequency? So only number 2, 5 and 7. These 3 having even frequency so we are only giving output as 2 5 and 7 okay and what is the hint i have given hint is use map if you are using uh, c plus plus so use map if you are having uh, python use dictionary if you are using java use hash map okay so you can try and uh, pause the video here and try and solve it by yourself if you know stls or uh, uh, like this type of collections framework and like that and if you don't know make sure to see the solution we are going to give you the solution and explanation as well this is the solution in c++ if you are understanding the logic then you can uh, copy it in any other programming language you know okay so let's see the uh, detailed logic first of all i think uh, you know all of this uh, it has input statements and all i am just going to start from the program logic first we are taking a value integer value that is n that is the number of element okay so number of array elements you can see from the comment line here okay this it is showing what this showing number of array elements so we will take input of n and then we will declare an array of size n and then take all the inputs of the array so for that we use for loop you all know that for taking array inputs we use for loop so from i equals to 0 less than i equals to n i less than n from i equals to 0 to i less than n we are just taking array inputs one by one and just storing it in the array okay up to this is clear good next we are moving towards to check the frequency of the numbers and to store the frequency of the numbers into a map 
first we need to declare a map and this map is going to be integer integer that means the key is also going to be an integer and the value is also going to be integer okay so we are declaring a map like that so first like the write the first write the map keyword then uh, this less than sign and then integer comma integer so integer first integer is the data type of the key second integer is the data type of the value so as we have a array of integers so those uh, array elements is going to be our key and the frequency is also going to be an integer value so we are going to store the frequency in the value so this is also an integer and then the map name we have given mp as the map name so this map will do what it will store number on their frequency okay array elements numbers and their frequency so for that also we need to again traverse the whole array so you are using a for loop again from i equals to 0 to i less than n to traverse the array then inside the for loop is the main logic inside the for loop this line is doing what this line is to check if the element which particularly we are now traversing if that element we have already inserted in our map or if that element is a new element so for that we are using mp.find okay this mp.find function is a inbuilt function in the map structure map data structure so you can use this to find any element if it is occurring if and if it occurs inside the map or not so we are using mp.find and then inside that mp.find function we are passing the current uh, value of the array element whichever we are traversing now so array of i is the current array, array elements value with which we are traversing so we are using this mp.find function to find its location if it is not inside the uh, map then it will automatically show the value of mp.end okay so this mp.find of array element if it is equals to the value of mp.end that means this particular element is not inside our map already okay that means it is its first occurrence so for first occurrence we will assign value 1 to its value pair okay for this key we are assigned value 1 okay because if the element is not in the map that means it is its first occurrence so we will insert the value in the map we will insert the ins we will insert the element in the map and set its frequency as 1 because it is the first occurrence of the element and if this blocks is having false value that means this element is already inside the map okay so if it is already inside the map then we are going to increase whatever the frequency it have stored inside its value we are going to increase it by one okay that means suppose a element is already three times inside the map okay it's already been uh, traversed three times so its value pair will consist of three okay so we are going to increase the value from three to four using this mp of uh, this uh, key this is going to be the key for this particular map and plus plus will increase its uh, value value by one okay so it will become three to four so this is the work of this particular for loop this for loop is doing what it is calculating and storing the frequency of each element inside the map okay the in the map the keys are going to be the array elements unique array elements and the its respective values is going to be its frequency so up to this is done the next part is for the output what we are need to print what we need to show in the output those values whose frequency is a even number okay so, so we are going to see which values are having a even frequency for that we are going to traverse the map now not the array we are going to traverse the map so for traversing a map we are going to use the auto keyword this is the way how we traverse the map you can easily check and see more examples of traversing a map there are multiple ways just search in google or youtube you are going to see it where there are multiple examples but there is one method where i am going to teach you this uh, in this video this is going to be using this auto keyword okay so here we will use for for loop for each we are using so in the c++ we are using like that okay for we'll write then inside the uh, parenthesis we'll write the auto keyword then one any variable name you can give anything here okay this is the variable and then this colon and the name of the map we are going to traverse so if we are doing this then for each iteration this i value will store a key value pair okay this will store a key value pair and if there is a key value pair this will i is a what i is a key value pair okay and for pair there are two values first second so the first value will be key and the second value will be 
first is key second value is going to be value okay so we are checking the first is the key that is the element but the second is going to the value that is the frequency so we are going to see if the frequency is a even number or not so for that we have to use if i dot second so for checking the even number the logic you all know we are going to see modulus 2 and if it is equals to equals to 0 that means it is an even number so if i dot second modulus 2 equals to equals to 0 that means its frequency is even so we are going to print what we are going to print we are going to print the frequency no we are going to print the number so number is stored in the key that is i dot first so we are going to see c out i dot first then we are going to give a space and that's it okay so this will traverse the whole map one by one it will check all the uh, key value pairs and if the uh, frequency is a uh, even number then it will show and print down the values for which we have a even frequency so that's it hopefully you understood it you can run it and see yourself and you can just write this you can copy this code also just pause the screen and copy and try i will suggest try it yourself first don't just directly copy and if you have any queries regarding this or if you want to see much more videos like this you can comment down